I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Tom Poland. He is Chairman, CEO, and President at Becton Dickinson. Tom, wonderful to have you on the show. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So Tom, you just rang the closing bell, celebrating 125 years. Quite a milestone. So tell me, how have you, how has BD kept up this culture of innovation? First off, we're an extremely purpose-driven company, and we've been that way since, since our founding. Today, our, our purpose is advancing the world of health, and I think that's, it's that purpose that's aligned generations after generations of associates in making a difference in healthcare, led by manufacturing and innovation. And at the heart of it, that's what's kept us around for 125 years, is identifying large unmet needs in healthcare and creating whole new solutions that, that solve them. We were the first company to develop disposable medical devices, disposable syringes. We, um, the way that you get your blood drawn today in a small tube, we invented the way of, of doing that today and we continue to be the leader in making that happen. Catheters that you may have gotten in, in your arm going into surgery into a hospital. We invented disposable catheters, which you know, are ubiquitous with healthcare today. And so those products that form the backbone of healthcare, we had a role in creating many of those. And we continue now in much greater technology, digital health, robotics, smart connected care, are ways that we're helping to reinvent healthcare for the future. Okay, so now we've gone through COVID-19, it's actually still happening now, um, but you played a big role in that, right? BD played a big role in helping us get through that. Um, tell me, what were some of the lessons learned during that time? Yeah, you know, first off, BD's had a, a role in combating a no number of the pandemics. We were the company who created a custom syringe to deliver the first polio vaccines. We helped combat the HIV pandemic and, and epidemic um, and TB. And, and when COVID came, we recognized that we need to apply our capabilities to help make a difference. And, and we rallied the organization around three things. We said we needed to help get people diagnosed, get them vaccinated and get them well. And so to help get them diagnosed, we were one of the first two companies in the world to develop a rapid test. We did that in three months, while it normally takes us three years to develop a rapid test, and, and we couldn't be more proud of our team in doing that. We then made hundreds of millions of those rapid tests and of molecular tests, which we also developed, to help get the world diagnosed. The second was, there was great progress being made by pharma companies to develop a COVID vaccine. Of course, you had to get them out of the vial and into the arm. And so we ramped up our production and made an extra two billion syringes just to deliver COVID vaccines. And so we couldn't be more proud of helping vaccinate two billion people around the world with COVID vaccines to help address that, that goal that we had. And then the third was more than 90% of patients who were admitted to a hospital with COVID were touched by our products and helping them get well. And so I think we roast the occasion here as we have you know, in the past. That's what our team is very passionate about doing. Again, we're very purpose driven and we were pleased to be able to make an impact. All right, so let's talk about the future of healthcare. Where do you think it's going and where do you think, or, or how do you think BD will play a role in that evolution? Sure. Now, BD, one of the reasons we've been around 125 years is we've had the ability to look ahead of where healthcare is evolving. And we see today three irreversible trends that are going to reshape healthcare in the future. And we're investing the majority of our R&D, the majority of our M&A spend, into reshaping the company's portfolio along those lines, and in doing so, we'll be reshaping healthcare. And those three areas that we're investing in are smart connected care, digitalization, robotics, automation, that are helping to make healthcare more efficient and, and of higher quality. The second area that we're investing in and helping to transform is moving care from hospitals into new care settings. Whether or not that's the home, could be going into your retail center for healthcare, rather than into a hospital, or into an ambulatory surgery center. And the third big area that we're investing in is improving outcomes for patients with chronic disease. If you step back even 20 or 30 years ago, the leading cause of death around the world was infectious disease. Today it's chronic disease, conditions like peripheral vascular disease, diabetes, cancer. And so we see a tremendous opportunity for medical technology to make a difference, and we're investing in that. All right, so 125 years. Do you think you'll have another 125 years? Absolutely, and it's going to be very impactful in, in advancing the world of health and helping hundreds of millions of patients around the world. All right, well, it's been wonderful to talk with you. Thanks Same for here. joining me on Floor Talk. Thank you for having me.